The Ospreys hit the road this weekend and they travelled to Galway to face Pro 12 leaders Connaught at the sports ground on Saturday evening. Join us now to look ahead to the game with half-back partners Sam Davis and Rhys Webb. Sam, a big game Saturday night out in Galway against Connaught. Top of the table, another one of those games that the Ospreys have got to be at the best of their ability. Yeah, definitely. No, I think off the back of a couple of good wins now, we've got a bit of momentum building and there's confidence in the camp. Um, so, you know, we're looking to go out there and, you know, do the job, you know, and it's going to be a tough game the following week out in Ireland again. But if we can get the win on Saturday against you know, a good call outside, then it'll really spur us on, claw us back, back into the top four race. Last weekend of the Liberty against Edinburgh it was a challenge against a team who had one of the best defences in the league. We're only averaging a try conceded a game. We overcame that. It's a different type of challenge now this weekend with Connaught who was scoring tries for fun and uh, one of the top scorers in European rugby. Yeah, you know, I think you look at Connaught and they don't lose many players uh, during the international break and I think, you know, it shows in their try scoring record, it shows in their, you know, where they're sitting in the league. So it's not going to be, you know, by any means an easy game out there and, it's, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good spectacle to watch. Hopefully, you know, we're going to go out there and match them with their, you know, kind of uh, attacking prowesses and uh, hopefully score a few tries for ourselves and limit, that, limit theirs. Having been you, one of the players who've been here all season, been involved from day one, disappointing start where we only managed to win one in the first six. We've turned that round now, we've only lost one in the last nine. So now we've got the momentum that you talked about. It's important that we keep on going, keep on building. Yeah, you know, I think we learned a lot from kind of the first, you know, first part of the season. You know, we were losing a lot of players, including, you know, the likes of Josh Matavesi, who don't obviously go away uh, doing the international break. And obviously Hassler, Tyler Ardron coming back now. Um, and then, you know, the youngsters coming through, you know, started really, really putting their hands up uh, during this phase. You know, look at Sam Underhill, Ollie Cracknell, both playing some outstanding rugby. So if we can just keep that kind of, you know, confidence amongst the team and stuff, you know, I think there's there's no reason why we can't go to corner and win and then bounce that back that up then the week after with a Leinster, Leinster win as well. You're a young man yourself and you're in a team last weekend that has an average age of 23. You know, that's probably the youngest senior team in European rugby. But as you say, there's a lot of mileage now being gained a lot of games under the belt can only be good for the Ospreys in the longer term yeah you know I think uh, with Beamon coming back into the squad this week it's going to bump it up a bit uh, the average age but no no as you said uh, it's a young team and you know looking around the pitch at the end of that Munster game when the final whistle went and we got that you know which was a was a great win for us and just seeing how young, young the team was you know that finished it was you know it was incredible and I think that's only good for Ospreys and, and, and for what the future holds for us I think it's important that as we look to the run-in for the end of the season with so much at stake that supporters get behind that, which is a predominantly local team, all very young, representing the Ospreys cause the best they can. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think maybe it's a bit underestimated how much the supporters mean to us in terms of when a, a game is tough for us, you know, when we hear them behind us, it really does get us going. I think if you look at the likes of the Claremont game, it really did show that, you know, I think maybe from then second off, they really did get behind us and really did, you know, uh, honestly did push us on to get that win. Next up at the Liberty Stadium is the big one when the Ospreys take on local rivals the Scarlets in the Pro 12. With both regions flying high, the battle for the Evening Post Challenge Cup is sure to be a momentous occasion. Tickets are available now from ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Remember, print your tickets at home and you can beat the match day queues. While the Black and White Lounge is also open for business, including a Fiore Prosecco reception, sharing platters and a Man of the Match presentation after the game. Prices for the Black and White Lounge are just £79 per person, and that includes premium seating for the match. Call the hospitality team now on 01792 616 488 or email hospitality at ospreysrugby.com to book your place. Don't forget, Saturday night's game against Connaught is non-televised in the UK, so make sure you're following us on Facebook or Twitter. 
for our live in-game updates. Reese, it's come back, take two this weekend after a fleeting cameo appearance in the winning Munster. It's a chance to go back and get back to action again this Saturday in Connaught. Yeah, it was obviously a long, long five months out for me. Um, so I've been itching to get back, back out in the park. And um, yeah, having, I think it was 25 minutes against Munster, I felt felt good, felt fresh and uh, wanted a little bit longer. But no, they had to build me in slowly. But yeah, um, get it to come off for that uh, broken concussion. But, all good to go this week and uh, yeah, happy to get the start. Talk us through that tackle that led you going off. Uh, it was just one of the things, it was um, just lining him up. I thought he was going to get a big shot on a young officer half, Sam Davis. So I thought I'd check the body on the line a little bit, but um, he moved slightly in the last minute and it's a big clash of heads really. So um, yeah, I passed all the tests, but a little bit confused after, but uh, not too bad now. It was a big win and then we backed that up last weekend at the Liberty against Edinburgh. But now we've got two huge games away from home against teams above us on the table. Connaught, Leinster, two of the toughest places in European rugby to go this season, particularly Connaught with their record, so it doesn't get any easier. Yeah, it was a very good win out in Munster. Um, obviously they haven't lost, I think, in that pitch for two years, I think, in that, on that pitch. So very good uh, place to go with a young, a young side growing as well with confidence. And uh, to back that up against Edinburgh, obviously it was a sloppy first half, but the way the boys managed the game and... Um, Obviously got that win, but we know it's going to be completely different this week with Connor to obviously top the table at the moment, and uh, they got the, one of the best attacks in the league. But look, um, since I've been back, I've been very impressed with the boys coming in. It's, obviously, we lose a lot of boys to Six Nations, but to be fair, the boys coming in have done a hell of a job, and um, it's competition for places now, all in, all in the squad. Even when the Six Nations is on, it's boys fighting for places, and everyone's putting their hand up, and it's, uh, it's good to see. Talk about Connell being the top try scorers. It's a different type of challenge to Edinburgh, who had the second best defence in the league. So you perhaps could approach the game a little bit differently. Yeah, we're going to obviously play the game how we want to play, but we know um, the attack's obviously good, so our defence has got to be on, fi on fire. Um, so we've had a good, good two days training now um, this week. Um, obviously working on our D and trying to cut, cut them off straight away. Um, but yeah, it's a tough place to go, but. Boys are going to take a lot of confidence out of the last two weeks, the wins in Munster and Edinburgh, and um, hopefully we can get a good win out in Connacht. And as for you personally, you've been around the team a good seven or eight years, but we be fair to say that last season was your best yet and in great try scoring form. Does that make it tougher this season now when you come back to the team, do you think living up to those standards, or do you just put that behind you and just carry on doing what you do best? No, yeah, I put it, put it behind me really. Um, I try to go to every game I play fresh and full of confidence and um, take, take the game how I see it really, so it's, I'm not going to change anything um, just because I'm first game back and injured, so no, I'm looking forward to it, excited and um, hopefully we can get off the mark and get a couple of tries. And the key for you then will be to stay fit, get a run of games in and really have an influence in this run into the end of the season? Yeah, it's massive. Um, I'm so excited as well. Obviously, the Ospreys need to get in the top six and uh, hopefully try and push for, push for the playoffs. So, really excited to to help the boys with that. Obviously, the squad we got here now, young squad, and when the Six Nations boys comes back, but yeah, it's an exciting time, and uh, I think we're in a very good place. That's all for now. Don't forget tickets for the big derby match against the Scarlets on Saturday the 26th of March are on sale now from all the usual outlets. Make sure you buy ours and support the cause.